All right, guys, and welcome back to another episode. You guys have been loving them lately, and honestly, it means the world for me to be able to do this and you guys enjoying it as well. So we've got a busy episode coming up. We've got to get through December in this episode, um, but we've got a lot, a lot of games to get through. So we're going to jump straight in. We have got our first game up against West Brom. Junior Hernandez? No, that's Alex Scott. He is our next Jack Grealish, and he's been in some super form. And I thought I can't, I can't drop him. He's got to be in this team to play West Brom. We're going with a different formation, guys. We're trying what Man City have been using lately, and with the John Stones coming up into the midfield area, we're trying that formation. We're bringing Durand up into the midfield with three centre backs, and hopefully he can drop off in the right areas. We'll give it a go and see how we get on. Outstanding. Into Ferguson. Oh, he's had that nicked off him pretty easily. And he's West Brom. John Swift with the shot. And he blazes it wide, luckily. Had me a little bit worried there. Oh, Lewis Hall. I thought he was going to get book, booked then. Come on. No, no, this is bad. West Brom, clear it, defend it well. No. What a save from Patterson. Wow, that is a huge save. We need to make sure we clear this. And Dean Garner, whip it in. Front post, Ferguson's there. But he's not cleared it very well. It's to John Swift, but Levi Colwell is there to pick up the pieces. Oh, sloppy play. Give that away to us. Go on. Spencer's in. Finish that. Oh, no, he's put it wide. And that is half time. How have we missed that golden opportunity there? Oh, that was a massive, massive chance to take the lead. Go on, where's Lewis Hall? No. In the Carlin Grant. Oh, my God. What a beautiful save again from Patterson. Wow, this dude is a legend. How is he only overall 73? Because he's an absolute beast in between the sticks. He's kept us in so many games from how well he saves. Back lovely. No, go on, into Gordon. Oh, how's he missed? We've had two wonderful chances and not put the ball in the back I can't believe we wasted that chance with Alex Scott there it's going to be a nil-nil draw unless we can do something with this final attack Gordon Adji he's in can he bury this yes <laughs> come on Adji who doesn't get much game time has actually won the game for us it was the right decision to bring him on in the end. It was a fast counter-attack and we nick it in, I believe it's the 89th minute. What a massive three points this is going to be against West Brom. A tough, tough team in the championship. But we do get the goal in the end. From somebody who you guys probably thought, why have I brought him in? Dan Adji has, doesn't play much, but he can definitely do a job off the bench. And now all we need to do is just defend. There's no time left for them really to score. There's two minutes left to play. They can pass it about at the back all they want. Ref, blow the whistle. It's all over. There it is. We do get the 1-0 win over West Brom. Probably a massive three points when we look back at it come the end of the season. But let's move on into the next one, guys. All right, guys. So this next game up against Swansea, the sat in 18th so I'm uh, 20th sorry so they're very low down in the league so I thought why not just sim this one because we do have like six or seven games we need to get through in this month so we're going to go with a quick sim and hopefully we can get the win we are away at Swansea are we going to get the win and we do we get a 2-1 win Ferguson and Matt Ricky get on the score sheet it was quite a close game actually 
Swansea had more possession, more shots, but we created the more chances. So that is excellent. I wonder how we're doing in the table. We must be doing really well because we've not dropped many points at all. We're sitting third not too far behind Crystal Palace either, to be fair. Right then, guys, we've got another massive game coming up now against Preston away. They are sat in fourth. We are sat in third. It's a massive, massive game. Let's jump right into this one. Lewis Hall. Okay. Into Scarlett. Oh, brilliant ball into Illing Jr. No way. Goes to shoot and, and the shot gets blocked. We've still managed to keep it with a doozy. Into Scott. Oh, and he's been he's lost it from Ledson. And from Colwell again. Back out wide with Alex Scott. Oh, somehow he's still kept hold of it. Oh, he's gone past one. Oh, a ref. Being took out there. Should be... Should be a card, definitely. Good. Ryan Ledson took Alex Scott out. What can Lewis Hall do? Can he strike it? Oh, he's hit it from like 30 plus yards out. Lewis Hall with an absolute screamer. I just thought I'd hit and hope. Did not expect that to rattle the back of the net. We lead 1-0 with... An unbelievable goal. I wasn't expecting that at all. And it flies in the back of the net. How far out were we? It's not going to tell me. But it was a beautiful strike from Lewis Hall. And we lead 1-0. Oh, See if we can strengthen our position this second half. And double our lead. Oh, brilliant. No, that was not a foul from Durand. No chance in hell. And now here come Preston. But Luke Embete is solid. Oh, and what a pass that is. Woo! And Reese has put it wide. That's a big let off for us there. That was a massive let off. That's poor. Preston. Oh, no. It's going to be 1 1 now. Patterson's not stopping that. That was just poor, poor defending. We lost the ball in quite a pivotal area of the pitch and we get punished. And that's what we need to be better at, is making sure when we're passing, we're not losing it in horrible areas of the pitch. Keep that out. He is definitely an underrated keeper. I didn't expect him to be this good for us. But he's definitely saving our body right now. And brought Nathan Broadhead's done fabulous there. And look who it is attacking. It's Levi Colwell, but Broadhead's going all alone. Can he finish it? Oh, and it's tipped onto the bar. Nathan Broadhead, though, with an absolute unreal run. Illing Jr. whipped this in. Oh, and Kemp's got the winner. What a fluky goal. But Gabriel Kemp rises high and is alert, really. I, w I don't even know where that come from. We went to head it, missed it, and then Kemp gets there and reacts the fastest. I'm going to bring Connor Chaplin on for Alex Scott because he is absolutely shattered. 15 minutes, that's all we have to do to hold out to tr get the three points. But Preston come very strong. Straight from kickoff. No, I don't want the kickoff glitch. <sighs> Luke and better. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. No. No. How has that happened? Oh, that's so. Ch oh, it's annoying. Poor defendings let us down big time there. Oh my god, can't even pass a straight ball. Gotta be careful that Preston don't go on and get the winner here. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is happening. Brilliant. 
We've got one last chance. No. Has Connor Chaplin got the pace? He might have. He's got to score this. Oh, what a game! Connor Chaplin off the bench. And we nick another game late on with a 3 2 victory, hopefully, now. What a counter attack! Preston head in hands moment. And Ipswich look like they're coming away with the three points. Connor Chapman just turned his pace on. And when we hit it, I thought we put it over. I thought we missed it. But Connor Chaplin's buried that in the top right hand corner. And Freddie Woodman's not saving that. It should be all over now. And it is. We get the 3 2 win. We get the job done against Preston North End. That's a massive, massive win. Right, guys, our next game we are going to go with another quick sim up against Blackburn Rovers. We're sat in third. We are 10 points clear of Preston in fourth. They're on 41 points. We're on 51 points already. Sat in third nice and comfortably. Hopefully we get the three points up against Blackburn. What's it going to be? Oh, we get a loss. That's our first loss in a while, I believe. We did take the lead as well. and Blackburn pulled it back to get the winner. It was quite a close game, but we do get a, a loss, a 2-1 loss against Blackburn. Right, guys, our next game is up against Millwall. And it's probably going to be another tough one. It's not going to be easy. Into Gordon. I think he was onside. But we've lost it. Oh my god. Is Watmore really that quick? I don't know if he is, but... Oh no. Millwall dismantled us there. Oh, that's an unbelievable team goal, that. Zian Fleming, their best player for Millwall. I can't even believe he plays for Millwall, to be fair. But they've absolutely dismantled us there with that counter-attack. It was a brilliant goal, to be fair. Just passed it through us. And Zian Fleming buried it straight past Carl Rushworth. It's a lovely goal, to be fair. But we are 1-0 down on trailing. Let's make sure we get back into this game. That should be a foul. Saville. Go on. Can Hall hit one again? No, oh, not this time. A poor, poor shot in the end. We've not started that well. We have rotated the team a bit, though. Well, we rotate the team every game. Like, well, we've got a lucky rebound there. Ball's into Gordon. Oh, no. If we'd have finessed that, that'd have probably gone in that bottom corner. But that is an opportunity missed. Just losing the ball. No, 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 no. No. <gasps> Whoa, we've got lucky there. What? Okay, we are for sixes at the back. Oh, it's going to be two. Just can't seem to defend right now. And Millwall punish us once again. Try and bring some players on to change this up. I don't even know. We've got quite a lot of tired players. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. We've been, we've had a shocker. A real, real shocker. Let's just skip to result. There's 10 minutes left to play. Definitely not getting back into this one. They get four. We score two. Ajina Doozy. Right then, guys, going into our next game up against Stoke City. We are at home. Let's try and get a free point. Here we go then. Ferguson gets us underway against a good Stoke team. And we're back to our same thing, giving the ball away. Won that back though with Illing Jr. 
see if he can do much but it's brilliant defending won that back nicely though oh no the pass was on for Scott oh, Luke Mbete is a beast in that position go on Ferguson's in 1-0 surely and it is a beautiful finish from Evan Ferguson puts us 1-0 up in under 10 minutes he is a beast of a striker and I love him every time I use him but it's another fast start up against Stoke and Evan Ferguson just doesn't miss chances like them and puts us in the lead Ferguson fouled to free kick to Stoke it's too far out so they're not going to go for a shot clear that no Patterson what are you doing oh phew it's offside we got lucky there would have been a brace a second for Ferguson we play this one shot to Illin Jr he whips that in a Ricky oh not sure what Ricky was doing there, but looked like not a bad effort in the end. Right now. That's a lovely ball out to Wright Phillips and Cuffey with a brilliant block. And they do end up with a corner. <clears throat> oh, if we were quicker, Scott was so open. Oh, he's still done brilliantly well here though. Oh, and what a save from Bonham. He's keeping Stoke in this right now. Do I bring Scarlett on? I think I do. I think he comes on for the remainder. Um, we can bring... can bring Gordon on. He can play that position. Um, keep Scott on. We'll keep it as it is. We've got a corner. Lewis Hall to whip this one in. Scarlett's first touch nearly ended up in the back of the net. Oh, and Alex Scott's shot gets blocked. Oh, Alex Scott's done well. Into Scarlett. No. What? Eh. Oh, he's done excellent. No. Gordon. Yes. <laughs> we finally got the second in the 89th minute. We've deserved it in the end. It has been coming, and we finally got it. Look at Patterson celebrating. But I tell you what, guys, there's a couple of players who play for Stoke that I definitely think we need to take a look at. Gordon rises and does get there in the end. And we lead 2-1. That should be it. The game done and dusted in the 90th minute. Scott with it. And that is it, guys. We do get the 2-0 win over Stoke with an absolute beautiful performance. It was a quality game to watch if you were a neutral, but we do end up getting the win in the end. Right, guys, we've got a youth player unsettled, and it is Tyler Summers. Now, do we promote and loan out, or do we just let go? Potential of 77-83. It's not horrendous, but his overall is 56. Do we promote for now and include him in a deal and try and sell him on? Let's do that and let's see how much he's worth. We'll see how much he's worth um, in the squad hub. Tyler Summers. Where are you, my friend? Here he is. How much is he worth? Financial. Oh, he's only worth 375k. He's worth peanuts. Unfortunately, maybe we just look to sell him. You know, he's not going to be. He's not going to make the cut. We do have a player that I think we're going to have to promote sooner rather than later. Is Thierry Henry overall of sixty eight, seventeen year old? He should be in the squad as of right now. He, he makes that position on the left, but he'll have to battle Alex Scott for it. That's the only issue. Besnard as well looks insanely good. I feel like he could be good in a cam position though. Right then guys, our next game is 
up against Plymouth Argyle and we are just going to quick sim this one. Uh, Plymouth are down in the relegation zone so it should be an easy three points really. I'd be shocked if we didn't. Oh, we get a 1-1 draw. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Okay, guys, Gabriel Kemp is going out on loan for the remainder of the season at Sporting Lisbon. He's a guy who I really like and I want for the future, but I feel like by not giving him the game time is potentially damaging his potential. So I thought if we're not using him, why not give him a six-month loan? And yeah, he's off to Portugal to Sporting Lisbon. Right then, guys, to round off this episode, it is against Birmingham. And we are going to sim this one again. Just they are low down. We've played like three or four this game. This is going to end off December. Here we are the 30th of December. So then next episode will be the January transfer window. But we need to get through this game first against Birmingham City. So this is the team we're going for. Hopefully this can do the job. Fingers crossed. Oh, we get a loss. Oh, and Hall... Gets himself two yellow cards and a goal. It's not brilliant. Um, not at all. Not when he's one of our main central midfielders. But guys, that is going to round off this episode. Next episode in January, we're going to take a look. Potentially maybe some more signings. If not, we definitely need to be looking to promote Thierry Henry into the team and try and embed him in for the remainder of the season. So if you have enjoyed this episode, smash that thumbs up button, hit that big red subscribe button down below, so you do not miss any upload of this series, and I shall see you in the next one.